Hello guys, my name is Alex Wormser and today we're going to show you how to install Whistler Build 2211, the second, which is another beta one of Windows Whistler, better known as, which would be, yeah, 2211 is another beta one of Windows XP. So, first things first is you want to open PCEM. you want to create a new configuration you can name it 2211 or Whistler Build 2211 I am going to use the same graphics as the previous build which was 2202 shuttle you can pick socket 7 socket 7 is highly recommended for whistler builds I recommend I'm going to do the mobile. You can do pick any of the Pentium MMXs. And this is another one that requires a BIOS state change. So be sure to uncheck synchronize time to host clock, otherwise, the beta will not work. The video card is an ATI. Graphics Pro Turbo Sound PCI 128 4096 Okay, I created the hard disk CD speed at 72 if it's too fast then you can lower it so we're now gonna start the machine but first things first we're gonna change the bio state go inside the VM click delete enter setup standard CMOS and we're gonna change the date to March 9th 2000 and I recommend you you use a boot disk I know the ISO is definitely bootable because if you if you choose if you boot from the ISO the build will freeze will always freeze on installing devices so yeah and be sure you load and after you set the bio state insert your Windows 98 boot floppy and your Whistler CD save CMOS confirm Y You know, in the previous build, 2202, I forgot to enable two smart drive, but this time, I'm going to enable it. And the... 
the drive will not be bootable. Type FDisk Yes to Logitech support DOS partition create primary DOS partition Say yes to that Restart the system We're going to boot from CD-ROM support because it's where we get to partition the drive. All right. Alright, the drive letter is E for formatting. Type format C colon. Do not use the S command or else you'll get Microsoft Windows as the extra dual boot option. Confirm Y and it's gonna format the drive and I will be right back when this is done. Alright, formatting is done. Enable Smart Drive. Oh, I used the wrong floppy. I, I, what I had to do is I had to download, download Windows 98 SE no RAM drive, and type in Smart Drive. Next, go to your drive letter, CD drive letter, which is E. Type I386, and type WinNT. Hit enter. Hit enter, and then it's going to copy the files. And yes, 72 times drive is recommended for if you want the fast method. I know Billy O'Reilly does it whenever he installs. Windows 95, 98, and Millennium Edition betas on PCEM or 86 box. And now it's going to copy more files into the hard disk, so I'll be right back when this is done. Alright, let me tell you what Whistler 2211 is. The build refers itself as Whistler Windows 2001, which is possibly a name of combination of Whistler and Windows 2001, though it may be a formatting error when compiling the build string. The new features on 2211 is Control Panel and some parts of Windows Explorer have gained updates to resemble that of Windows Millennium Edition. The setup font has been changed from Tahoma 
to Arial, which you will see later on. This change persisted in later builds until 2419 reverted this change. And it just got done copying the files. Just hit enter. But before you restart, remove the Windows 98 floppy. Continuing on, the help center from pre-release builds of Windows Millennium Edition has been ported into this build. It also contains several references to Neptune in the report bug to the Windows Neptune beta team page. In the splash screen of Outlook Express 5, the copyright date has been changed from 1995 to 2000 while it's about box still reports 1995 to 1999. And yes it is, it did load files and set up its starting Windows 2000. Hit enter, enter, hit F8 to accept the license agreement. You can either leave the current file system intact or convert to NTFS. For me, I'm going to convert to NTFS because I seem to have the best experience with NTFS. and click lock has been introduced. It can be enabled by changing user preference mask in H key current user control panel desktop from E, 3E to BE and then logging off and back on again. And now it's going to copy files which I will be right back after this. Alright copying files is done now setup is going to initialize the Windows 2000 configuration. And now it's going to ask for a reboot. Hit enter to restart. If you converted to NTFS, Now it's going to restart after that disk converting. And again it's going to boot into Windows 2000. All right, we are now on a setup. Please wait. As you can see, the setup is now in a while instead of 
Tahoma. The Whistler builds will be reverted back to Tahoma starting with build 2419. And now it's going to be on a please wait screen. All right, it's going to welcome you to the Windows 2000 setup wizard. Click next, and then it's going to install the devices. It'll detect devices like your keyboard and mouse. During this time, your screen may flicker, which I'm not showing in case if any of my viewers are prone to epilepsy. Alright, installing devices is done. For regional settings, just click next. Next is Type in your name. Next, set a dated time. Next. And now it's going to install networking components. And now it's going to install components. Since the CD drive is set at 72 times speed, this should be quicker than the 24 times speed. because 72 times speed is for fast installations. It's copying files. Yes, as you can see, it is the title window is in Arial instead of Tahoma. Now configuring COM plus. Now completing configurations. And now it's going to perform final task installing start menu items, registering components, save settings, and remove any temporary files used. Alright, setup is done. Click finish.
then since we choose ATI, the video driver may not need to be installed. Right, we're on the Windows 2000. As you can see, the watermark says Whistler Windows 2001. Windows is starting up. And we should hear the Windows 2000 log on sound. Sure, it'll play fine because of the. Yeah. Sorry if the sound is stuttery. Whistler isn't designed for. PCEM is not designed. PCEM. Yeah, Whistler isn't designed for PCEM. You can use them in VirtualBox and VMware, but for VMware, you'll have to put the OS at backwards compatibility and disable ACPI according to Billy O'Reilly but we should be at the desktop pretty soon here we are at the desktop See Microsoft Windows 2000 version 5 2211. And if you run Winver, the time bomb is in May of 2001, May 27, 2001 to be exact. System information. Okay, to install Click Lock, run RegEdit. go to H key current user control panel desktop and you have to change user preferences and you have to change 3e to be click OK and then all you need to do is log off and then log back in
And when you go to control panel, doesn't have it. But I can show you the it's now safe to turn off your computer message in case if you want to know what it looks like. Here it is. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.